So I just finished uh, unloading the Harbor Freight 72 inch tool, tool chest. I'm a little out of breath. I did it myself. I was looking for uh, videos on YouTube on how one would do this by themselves, but I didn't find any. So even though it's after the fact, I don't have a pro, you know a video of actually me doing it. But now that I have it done and I know it's successful, um, I can kind of give my tips. And uh, I'll say right now that like it's not a piece of cake, and I'm also you know a big guy, so I don't you know I don't really recommend it. And you kind of do this at your own risk. But um, here is the box. This comes uh, on a pallet. There's the pallet. And then it has a cardboard box over top with two plastic straps. Um, they put it on here with a forklift and three guys at the, at the store. Um, the box itself, I believe, weighs about 525 pounds, and then with all the packaging, about 600 pounds, approximately. Um, what I decided to do is uh, I pulled the uh, the cardboard off, and I took all the drawers out because the drawers, uh, you know, are, it's, it's probably half the weight. So. I pulled the drawers out, and this is my first Harbor Freight box, so, you know, I, I've, I've heard good things about them, but, you know, it's the kind of thing that you only really believe when you see, and, uh, the drawers are pretty good, they're stout, they're, you know, a thicker gauge steel, probably 16 gauge, I don't know the exact specs, they got some weight to them, you know, I pulled all of them out, the, uh, the, the, the taller drawers have double casters, they roll smooth, um, you know, I've heard people saying that they've got these boxes and they weren't, uh, you know, the, the drawer slides weren't greased, but these are greased. Um, so I pulled them all out and then I had to kind of, inside the bed of the truck, I kind of had to wiggle the, uh, the box off of the caster, uh, off of the, uh, the pallet. The casters are attached by the way. So without the drawers, it's 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 a lot lighter so you know one strong guy is able to pick up one end and kind of shimmy it to the left and then uh you know wedge you know pull the uh the pallet out from underneath and then you know i tossed it over the side then i uh i got my ramps here um i got these at home depot these are pretty good they're not too expensive they're like they got a really good traction on them like cheese graters you know and i got my straps down here so the ramps don't don't fall you know get uh, pulled off uh, so basically what I did is uh, once I had all the drawers off I kind of stood up here and then just kind of slowly pulled on it you know and then I got further lower and then uh, you know I'm just basically supporting the weight now the the tool chest is doing all the work it's pushing me down you know so you know, it's probably safer for two guys, but like I said, I'm a, I'm a big guy. I'm in the 200 something pound range. So I'm able to support the weight of this and just, I just gingerly guided it down. Uh, this is a little bit of a steep angle. So what ended up happening was um, the wheels were positioned in such a way that these stops were touching the ground. But since the box wasn't that heavy, um, you know empty I was able to kind of lift it up and pull on it a little bit and then once I got it further down then the back wheels the frames of the back wheels hit and then I was able to come up from behind and kind of pick it up and wiggle it out and I got it off with not too much drama I mean I'm I'm panting because I'm out of shape but it's doable you know it's definitely doable uh, another thing is uh I, i've never seen a video of these with with all the drawers pulled out and i was really curious to see about the finish and and you know how robust it was and i gotta say i've never owned a professional box of snap-on or maco or anything like that um but you know i've seen videos of them and things like that and i've seen them in person you know i've got friends that are mechanics and stuff like that so i'm not a stranger to them but I gotta say, it's it's pretty stout, stout you know, like, uh, you know, it's got this framework, 
you know, it's powder coated all the way around. You can see like the the top, you know, the, the countertop area has got this reinforcement over here. You know, this is a heavy gauge steel. You know, it's more reinforcements. You got the lock bars going all the way across. And I guess these holes are maybe for drainage. I don't know. I don't know why you'd get your toolbox wet, but who knows? Um, it's solid. I mean, this 72 inches. The, the the casters are real beefy. They got like these uh, springs on them. Got locks on these. I'm curious myself now. Like, so this got a little. This is glued down. And because of the heat, it was really hot when I was getting this off. It was like 85, 87 degrees. And it kind of like bubbled. Um, but, you know, it's they didn't do like the best job like adhering this on here. They just kind of schmutz some spray glue on there. But I'm not too concerned about this because, you know, when it cools down, it'll lay down flat. Um, but I'm also planning to um, have a 316 steel top cut for this put on top and then you know maybe bolt a little vice on here because there's enough clearance underneath that I can get some nuts and bolts in there um, let me see if I can get underneath and show you and I'll also see for the first time the framework underneath see what we're dealing with here so we got these beefy angle iron supports or angle iron type I mean it's it's an angle it's not boxed you got two on the center you got these over here they're also kind of an angle iron type material and you have more support on the side over there so that's that's the main support section and again here's another view from up top you know it's powder coated throughout I don't really see any areas where they skimped on the powder coating This just kind of slides up and down. This is just like a little trim piece. I think you can just remove these. They go on with clips. Some people remove them. They don't like them. I think they look all right. Uh, what else to say? Every drawer comes with a liner, which if you're on this video, chances are you've seen many, many of these videos on YouTube like I have. But, uh... I gotta say, so far I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I mean, it was uh, $11.99 plus tax. Tax in Connecticut is seven something percent, so I think it was like twelve seventy something out the door. Uh, I know they every once in a while they have a coupon where you can get this thing for $9.99, and uh, I always seem to miss those. Uh, the guy told me he said, well, if the sale comes up in a couple of weeks, you know, we're gonna honor it and give you the money back. Uh, I figured, you know what, most people don't have a Harbor Freight nearby. I have a Harbor Freight half an hour away, so most people have to pay for shipping, which is about 100 bucks for this. Uh, since I'm saving on that, I figured, hey, you know what, I'll take, you know, I'll, I'll pay the little extra and get it now, because who knows what's going to get here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll make another video when I have this thing all put together and loaded up and give my impressions. All right, here's the Harbor, here's the Harbor Freight 72-inch. Uh, US General Toolbox. Just finished uh, putting all the drawers and handles in. Had to remove all the drawers in order for me to get this off the truck by myself. Everything, uh, everything went pretty smooth. We got both handles installed. Um, one of the complaints that I've heard in some of the videos is the handles are kind of loose and not flush, but these are, I mean, these are real tight. So I guess whatever issue that they had in the past with these boxes, they've corrected. Because, I mean, these tight tighten down really nice. And they're solid as can be. But, uh, as you can see, the drawer operation is real smooth. Got these little latching mechanisms. Even some very heavy drawers. So, uh, so far so good. Can't wait to, uh, 
to load it up with some tools.